What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Kevin and I am going to share with you guys an update about my Parsonage Turner Syndrome. I've been dealing with this condition since September 4th, 2020 and wanted to document my progress and recovery process in a couple of videos to give you guys an idea of what to expect if you are currently facing a battle with the same condition. So the progress and process I am going through may not 100% be the same as your recovery process but at least you might have some insights and may have some hope in what to expect uh, that there are positive outlooks and yeah it just might give you an idea of what to expect and not to be trapped wandering in the unknown of what you are going to face in the future so just to give you guys a small summary of my past history. When I was going to the gym in 2020 on September 4th, I experienced a sharp pain in my right elbow and I thought I had a case of tennis elbow because I've had this condition in the past. So I just thought to myself, I will do it a little bit uh, easy next time in the gym. I'll uh, let my elbow heal for a couple of days. And then I'll get back at it at a uh, slower pace. But the pain evolved into a sharp, horrifying pain that felt like somebody tasing me constantly for about two weeks and a half. And uh, it felt like a strong, nagging, sharp pain like electricity going through my body without stopping and I was just going through a horrific phase in my life where I was suffering all the time and I had to rely on pain medication so if you are facing the pain in the acute phase of partial Turner syndrome my man I feel for you I know what you're going through then after about uh 10 days the pain started to fade away and after 14 to 16 days the pain has completely disappeared and I thought since the pain had disappeared that um, I would be able to go back to the gym so I went to the gym I started to warm up and I noticed that I had no strength whatsoever in my right side of my body especially on in my pushing muscles my chest my front delt my triceps my serratus all those muscles seemed to have been disabled i was truly worried about that so i thought i was disabled i thought i had a paralyzation which was the case and i went to my doctor my doctor i told her the symptoms i told her what i had experienced in terms of, uh, of pain and she had never heard of this condition before so she sent me to a specialist the specialist uh, did some tests on me. I had tests with uh, EMG. I went in an MRI. And the thing that the doctor told me is that he thought that I would have this rare condition, but it would be unlikely. However, it would be a possibility. That is Parsonage Turner Syndrome. And he told me there is no medication. There is no treatment. There is nothing he could do to help me battle this condition. And that time would tell the outcome so he told me some people recover 50 percent some people don't recover at all some people recover 100 percent time will tell so leaving me in the unknown wondering about my future well the only thing i could do was accept it and i have but i'm pretty stubborn and when i want something I take massive action. So my battle against Parsonage Turner Syndrome started with the ID. Simply keep going to the gym, keep eating healthy foods with lots of nutrients so that your body heals. And even though you can only lift for about two kilos with your um, affected side, if that is the maximum you can do, do it. Because you will train your or retrain your neural pathways and that way you may stimulate your body to regenerate its plexus brachialis to have a proper function again. So because I had a severe strength loss during a couple of months, the right side of my body totally atrophied, my chest sunk in, my 
one arm became smaller than the other one because uh, my triceps totally faded away. My shoulder muscles, my anterior delt specifically, and my um, side delt completely melted away. You know, I have been training in the gym for years. <clears throat> and I'm by no means a professional bodybuilders, bodybuilder. But for a natural lifter, I have built myself up to a very decent level. I am lean, strong. I had great strength uh, levels for my uh, body weight and size, uh, relatively speaking. And um, yeah, it was truly hard accepting that all the progress I have made and the body composition that I had achieved was simply fading away in front of my own eyes. However, even though I had severe strength loss, I was very grateful and thankful that I was not completely paralyzed. So we are now, we are now, uh, which month are we? We are uh, March. So it has been one year and a half since dealing with this condition. And my experience is that the pain has never come back since the acute phase. When I had my severe acute phase, my attack, the pain lasted for its worst for about 10 days, non-stop extreme pain. By the 10th day, the pain started to slowly fade away and by the 14th to 15th, maybe 16th day, I was completely pain free. However, like I said, it was followed by extreme muscular weakness because my nerves didn't send um, the messages from my brain to my muscles. And during the whole process, I kept training, I kept going to the gym, retraining my neuro neural pathways. And I'm now happy to announce, I'm not there yet, but I'm happy to announce that my strength has come back for about 80%. So just to give you guys an example, with my um, current strength standards, for my one arm overhead dumbbell press standing, I perform uh, 30 kilos for about eight reps. And with my affected side, I push 26 kilos for about eight reps as well. My chest press, I don't do bench press at this moment and don't use free weights because I simply ha still have a muscular imbalance and otherwise it would um, mess up my balance. But I use the chest press plate loaded machine. I can chest press um, 65 kilos for five clean reps with my good side. And I've performed uh, 55 kilos for five reps with my affected side. Um, and that's about it. Those are the main lifts that I use as a reference point. So I'm pretty close to where I was before and to where my current strength is at, uh, in my good arm. So I don't know what the future will bring. I've been at this plateau for a couple of months right now where my overhead press doesn't uh, progress anymore. However, I do have to say, I have been improving all the time in the sense that since the period of my acute phase till now, my strength has gone up. And I notice even though the weight doesn't go up uh, on my overhead press, that the smoothness and the form of my, the execution of my exercise is getting better and cleaner. So I think the fact that my form is getting better, that my uh, nerves, are also being um, regenerated. And as a result, I perform the reps cleaner. So probably it will take another couple of months to regenerate the nerves even further. And then I will be able to go up and wait. But uh, I'm actually pretty happy with the progress I've made till up uh, this point. I'm back at about 80% of my strength um, as compared to my good arm and I'm completely pain-free and that is the most important thing to me. I'm not paralyzed, I'm pain-free and my strength is coming back. 
obviously i do want my strength to come back 100 percent um and actually in my mind i truly believe that that will be the case but it will just take a lot more time and that is the the advice that i want to give you guys if you are currently dealing with this condition i don't necessarily think that we are that different so i truly think if you are currently battling parsonage turner syndrome that the progress and process that you will go through will be pretty similar to mine maybe not 100 percent the exact same process but maybe your acute phase might be shorter or longer but the pain will eventually go away and healing times will probably differ as well but the one thing that you have to respect in your battle against parsonage turner syndrome is you have to accept that it will take a long time time is your best friend patience is your best friend ultimately your body will heal itself um, but it will simply take a lot of time and it will take a lot of patience from your your yeah it will take a lot of patience of you so be mentally strong be patient and i'm pretty sure that it will come back you know i'm not an expert on the topic i'm no doctor by any means but i do truly believe that the fact that i was going through the motions with my affected arm even if i wasn't able to use a lot of weight and i don't think that was that important uh, in my uh, recovery process the fact that i was going through the motions um, by my capabilities that it did give my body a stimulus to regenerate faster and i cannot back this up with um, scientific research but I do think if you force your body to do something, that it will adapt. And I do genuinely believe that I have spe speed up the recovery process by staying active and staying, keeping my muscles in motion, keeping my um, nervous system active. Yeah, and just giving my body a stimulus to heal something i also strongly advise you to do is to clean up your diet and focus on eating a lot of healthy foods which contain a lot of vitamins and minerals a lot of micronutrients because i know that those are vital in our bodies and a lot of people are deficient in those but supplying your body with the sufficient amount of micronutrients coming from fruits vegetables eggs uh, all kinds of whole foods and natural foods that it will speed up your healing progress uh, and process and um, you are basically giving your body the bricks to rebuild the house that has been destroyed by a fire so to speak so that is my experience guys in short time heals there's no, nothing specific that i have done except for keeping my gym routine and keeping in shape and eat, eating healthy focusing on healthy foods and also of course keeping a positive mindset um, because i had genuinely during the first couple of weeks actually accepted that i might never get my full strength back and even though that is horrible to me because i love strength sports um it is what it is and it was out of my control the only things that i've done in regards to uh, my gym routine and my nutrition and my mindsets i have done i have taken action in those areas and besides that there was nothing much that i could do but as i'm saying my strength has gone gone from zero to about 80 percent of my um, unaffected side so um I don't think that most people are that different despite what people might say but we are all of the same spe species and um, our bodies recover pretty much in the same way so i'm pretty sure that there is hope for everybody it took me 18 months to get back to 80 percent of my strength 
So I think I will deal with this for maybe another six months to a year to get back to 100%. Maybe it will take longer. I have no idea about that. But in the future, I will make another video and I will give you guys an update. Um, guys, if you're currently currently battling this uh, horrible condition, I truly feel for you. But keep fighting. Keep a positive mindset. Keep working out. Keep going through the motions with light weights. Eat healthy. Rest well. And don't force yourself. Don't force your body with too heavy weights. Or you will simply injure yourself. But don't give up the battle. Keep on fighting. Be a warrior. Parsonage Turner Syndrome is not going to get us down. Parsonage Turner Syndrome is simply going to get itself kicked in the butt. And I am truly confident that everybody who doesn't have a genetic predisposition to this condition, where it is a reoccurring thing since their childhood, that it will properly heal and you will get back most of your strength, most of your range of motion. It will just take time. And depending on the severity of your case, your healing time may be shorter or longer than mine. But besides that, I'm pretty sure that uh, everything will be okay in the future. So guys, thank you for watching the video. I support you guys in your fight against this condition. I will give you an update in the future. And I hope that everybody who is facing this condition is having a positive mindset, is keeping strong mentally. And uh, leave some comments if you want to. If you have questions, shoot, I will answer them. Take care, guys. See you guys in the next one.